I've got a practice method that I want to tell you about today that I think will make a big difference to the way you play the piano. And yes, it's connected with practicing like a Soviet weightlifter. Now, you might be wondering what all that's about, but don't worry because we'll get to it in just a moment. Before we do, let's think about a problem that we can use this magic practice technique to address. It's a problem that I call basic controlled movement, and it's stuff that experienced piano players take for granted but learners often struggle with. It's really, really simple things like being able to play a scale or a melody smoothly. And another really common one that I see all the time is being able to transition smoothly and expressively between chords. Yeah, this is quite a difficult skill, but often YouTube piano teachers like me, because I'm no exception here, we're guilty of taking it for granted. Yeah, we say, hey, you know, play this chord, then this chord, then this chord, then this chord. And we don't appreciate that for most piano learners, simply moving between chords smoothly and efficiently is hard and it takes up a lot of focus and brain power. So this technique that I'm going to show you is fantastic for practicing your basic controlled movement skills. I've borrowed it from the world of physical training and athletics, and usually it's called greasing the groove, or sometimes it gets called micro-practice or mini-practice. It was brought to the West by a guy called Pavel Tsatsulin, and he started out as a physical training instructor in the old Soviet Union. So this idea of greasing the groove was promoted among Soviet athletes, the Soviet military and so on, for years. But actually it's really, really simple. The basic principle is that rather than just kind of flogging yourself in the gym for hours, you work little and often. Literally like getting down and doing, you know, three push-ups multiple times a day. One, two... The idea is that by doing it all kind of little and often, you're training the neurological circuits, you're greasing the grooves that help you to perform the skill you're working on, without kind of driving yourself mad or driving yourself to exhaustion. It ties in with another phenomenon called the spacing effect, which basically says that spreading out practice always makes it more effective. Now, you can probably see how this greasing the groove approach might tie in with piano practice. What you do is that you have a specific skill, a specific problem you want to work on, and every time you walk past your piano, you just practice it for literally a few seconds. So let's think about how you can put it into action. If you're a more advanced player, you can try it with just about anything, as long as it's short, yeah? Um, I use it for things like, you know, say I'm practicing a run that I want to work into an improvisation. Yeah, that takes literally 10 seconds. So when I walk past the piano, I'll sit down, I'll play it a couple of times, then I'll get up again and carry on with whatever I was doing. But like I said, you can use it for much more basic stuff than that, and it really suits those basic controlled movement skills. If you're just starting out, you can even use it for something as simple as a scale, just to develop the control of your individual fingers. So every time you walk past your piano, sit down and play the scale of C major, one octave, up and down, maybe in both hands. And again, it literally only takes a few seconds. You do it a couple of times, then you carry on with whatever you were doing beforehand. Now, the really important thing is to focus on what you're doing. Don't do it mindlessly. If you're just practicing a scale, focus on the evenness, focus on the control, make sure it sounds okay. Also, if, you, you know, if you're just starting out, say you've got a piece that you're struggling with, Isolate a couple of the difficult bars, a couple of the difficult measures, and just play them every time you walk past your piano. The important thing, like I said, is to have something very focused and tight to work on. Now, if you want to work on your basic controlled movements, then there are some really useful grease the groove type exercises you can do. So, for example, like I said, one of the big problems that people often have in the early days of playing the piano, or, or even in the not so early days, is the smooth professional sounding transition between chords, yeah? Well, what you can do is have as your grease the groove exercise a really short chord progression that you can just practice playing smoothly. And it might be as simple as something like this, yeah? Really, really slow and steady. And what I'm working on is just making the transitions as smooth as I can. Yeah, you sit down and do it every time you walk past the piano. And don't do it in a mindless way. Think about the quality of what you're doing. Focus on those individual movements, yeah? And the coordination of them. So, as well as playing the notes and thinking about how hard I'm pressing them and things like that, you might notice that my right leg is moving as well. That's because I'm pedalling between the chords. So as one chord comes off, I pedal down to sustain it, 
then as the next one goes down I release the pedal and re-pedal okay so I'm getting a nice clear sound but it's flowing really really smoothly by the way please do check out my new book how to be a better musician because it's full of stuff like this yeah all my kind of brain dumps about the science of practice and how we learn stuff and the mindset that you need to be a good musician plus it's got loads of practical exercises there are more than 40 exercises in there around playing and creativity and ear skills and things like that right now how to be a better musician Musician is only available as an ebook, but I'm hoping to get a print edition out later this year, 2023. You can find out more over at bettermusicianbook.com. Do check it out, I think you'll find it really interesting. Another really good grease the groove type exercise is inversion jumping. So a problem that a lot of piano learners have, and especially self-teaching piano learners, is dealing with the many possible ways of playing one chord on the piano. So it's all very well knowing that a chord of F is F, A and C, but if you can only play it in that position, that's not much good to you. The ideal is that you can find that chord in any of its positions, any of its voicings and inversions really easily. So as you probably know, any combination of the notes F, A and C on the piano keyboard is a chord of F, yeah? So that's a chord of F, that's a chord of F, I'll be going out of shot here, that's a chord of F, yeah? Any combination of those three notes. And mostly the way that you learn those combinations, those voicings, is just by playing stuff, by playing songs, by doing that kind of thing. But you can accelerate your learning by doing a grease the groove type exercise by sitting down and thinking of a chord like F and just for 20 seconds just playing as many different forms of that chord as you possibly can. Yeah, again, it's really easy. It slots into your day dead simply. Now, greasing the groove shouldn't be the only practice you do. You still need to sit down and do your 10, 15, 20 minutes of traditional practice six or seven days a week, yeah, if you want to make the best possible progress but it's a fantastic top-up that you can slot into your day really easily and use to really accelerate your development as a piano player.